My name is Beeman Floyd. I'm the president of the Texas Impact Foundation, and I'm here at COP27 as a credentialed observer. Um, my particular interests are the intersections between uh, financial uh, language of loss and damage, uh, the military language of, uh, of the impact of climate change, and of course uh, the faith perspective on uh, social justice and uh, good stewardship of the world. It's kind of an interesting thing that all three of those groups are talking, and they're talking different dialects, but they're really saying the same thing. And I think it's really important that they start sort of translating uh, with each other. They need a Rosetta Stone, I guess, uh, where they can come together and understand that they're talking about the same thing and become a much more powerful force in terms of affecting climate change and affecting public opinion, particularly in the United States, about climate. I've been here for a few days, uh, going to meetings uh, primarily, again, on loss, damage, and adaptation, uh, all of which are somewhat technical, but also financial. So adaptation is about what you can do to um, adapt to a changing environment, things like seawalls and uh, resilient community uh, type planning. Loss and damage is about paying for things that are actually happening, uh, helping communities recover from those things uh, that have happened to them as a result of climate change. So it's, there's an intersection there of science and technology and financing uh, that's a pretty rich environment for discussion. There are, and there are a lot of really potent opinions about them, so it's, uh, it's a great thing to be observing, for sure. Uh, I was also in a session uh, related to the climate impact of war, uh, and which was quite interesting. There were people talking, uh, the principal actors there were people from the Ukraine and uh, other uh, people from Ukraine, I should say, and other uh, countries that have been victimized by war. And there was a general discussion not only of the environmental impact of war and rebuilding, but of the environmental impact of uh, defense spending generally, and whether or not we need to come up with a general new paradigm uh, for national defense in the context of climate. This is difficult, right? Because in many ways, national defense is seen, one, as a primary uh, job of government, and two, uh, as something where you do it by any means necessary. Um, that it's important enough so that you spend the resources and create the climate footprint necessary to get the job done. And yet, the people here at the COP are talking about maybe trying to rethink that generally so you would actually have maybe strategic treaties that had uh, climate as part of the concept in strategic arms treaties. So we'll see where it goes, but it was quite a difficult session. Um, there was real strong emotion, particularly about the war in Ukraine and about the devastation there. I thought the Ukrainian representative was amazingly professional and yet in that professional space, clearly emotional about what her country is going through, and I felt honored to be there and watching it.